Long gray, long gray. Oh. Lingry, lingry, lingry. Lingry. Yeah. Yeah. So we are all very happy, and I have two handsome yes. men on the show with me today because oh three. Sorry, bus cameraman one. Of course, how can we forget? Because uh, well, we're having a lingerie show today. Chantal lingerie announced a new fall winter collection, yep. uh, combining the classical and exotic made from silk, lace, satin, and bamboo. Now, this is Chantal, and this is the beautiful Stephanie Seymour, who is now the spokesperson. Yeah. Bamboo. Bamboo. I know. I know bamboo. Okay, now they've actually been making underwear since like 1976, so they have a long history. And of course, this 40 year old mom, you can see like she's photos 40 of her. Old. She's 40 and she's like three kids. Wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> look at Brian and Daryl going, oh, wow. Now, okay, now this uh, bra or this brand of lingerie actually touts four effects. Hold for me, thank you. Now, these four effects are here. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but this is the shaping effect which is supposed to enhance your breasts giving them a lifted and rounded shape very shapely very shapely this one is the uplift effect it's perfect for square necklines with uplifting and full body effects this i have two smiling boys on set this is the enveloping effect guarantees enveloping. perfect uh, and com comforting support with full coverage mm. and the last one Plunge effect, which basically Woo! means you create the longkang. All right. All right, it's all about the longkang. All about the longkang. Camera is all about the dum dum, diddy dum dum. Yes, but first, let's take a look backstage and get some tips from our stylist. Let's well. take a look. So I'm feeling a bit conscious now because I'm standing <laughs> next to like the stylist to the stars and like everybody else in the whole universe who's astronomical and out of the stratosphere, Daniel Boyd. Hello. Do you recognize him? Now I wanted to ask you though, ah. what you, you know, like lingerie models, what do you look out for? Well, to put it in a nutshell, tits and ass. You, you must be able to fill the bra, mm -hmm. you must have nice toned legs, you must have a nice ass, especially if you're going to be wearing G-strings. Yeah, and um, it's fine if you've done plastic surgery as long as it looks real. You know, no one has to know what you've done as long as it looks real. Do you think people should say if they've done anything? No, they don't have to say it, right? Is there like a basic minimum size? There have always been rumours, you know, that Victoria's Secret models, for example, have to be like a 36 or 34B minimum. Um, well, that's the wonderful thing about Chantel. Mm. Because you don't have to be anything bigger than a B to look nice and sexy in the lingerie. Because it's all about how the bra is constructed. You want the models to look like they own the clothes. You don't want the models to look like... Um, They're lost Like in faceless. Them. Otherwise, I might as well just put mannequins on conveyor belts. Right. That's true, like sushi. Yeah, then that way I can I can mold the body to the the, the perfect exactly body that I want. Exactly what you want. Yeah, you see. Ah. Yeah, what yeah. about like if they don't have ass? If they don't have ass, then they don't have show. Oh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> no ass, no show. No ass. See, no this show. is this is why I can possibly open a lingerie <laughs> show. I got ass, yo. Uh, what what kind of uh, shoe should women wear with lingerie or not none at all? Well, it depends on whether um, you are going to be modeling on the catwalk, walking down Orchard Road in your lingerie, or you're trying to seduce your husband. Okay. Okay, if you're trying to seduce your husband, wear slip-ons. Because nothing is is more unsexy than you, like, flaunting your lingerie and flaunting your assets, and then suddenly you take five minutes to undo your, your <laughs> scrappy heels. That's why a lot of these uh, lingerie uh, shows, right, mm -hmm. they have girls in strappy slip-ons. I right? see. Uh, something that you can so, remove very easily. There is a, there's a tip behind the heels. Yeah. Strappy slip-ons. So, any yeah. colours? Um, it depends, again, on your skin colour. You know, ah. certain girls look really nice in certain colours. So, the, the best thing to, for you to do is go into a laundry section mm -hmm. and try on all the colours and see what colours flatter you best. When can we uh, look forward to more of your shows then? Well, um, it's fashion season now in October. Mm. I'll be doing um, shows at Takashima and doing Singapore Jewel Fest and all that. So, just come for the show. Bling, bling. Yeah. Yeah. Jewelry looks very good and very sexy with lingerie. Ah, Diamonds. So Diamond, champagne and lingerie, the best combination. So, you bring the champagne, you wear heels, make sure they're strappy. Uh, lingerie and then wear your diamonds that your husband gave you. That's oh. right. But remember to take out the diamonds before you hop into bed. In case you lose them. In case you lose them and you get scratched. Oh. Ah. Good tip. And that, of course, is Daniel Boy, celebrity stylist and stylist to the stars. Enjoy the show.
This is the very handsome Jerome, and he's the one who actually styled this show. Okay, um, basically Jerome. for this series, what we are doing is we're actually launching Chantel as a brand. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the first time in Singapore. So what we're actually doing is we've colour grouped the items, and then we're giving them themes. So we're basically doing a lot of uh, French-inspired fashion things. Mm -hmm. This is a... I think this is more like African inspired, like tribal. So it's like sort of like snake skin. Yeah. And it has this all this like lace as yeah. well. Yeah. And this is uh, this, this is for the wilder side of you, la. So we men in the bedroom when they would like to strip this off their their brights. Very nice. Oh, yeah. oh wait, that you even oh, have a little gata. Yeah. So it's like a very bridal thing. Yes. Oh, this is so perfect for like a friend who's getting married, right? Bridal it's, shower. Yeah, bridal shower. Yeah. It reminds me of Dita Von Tees. The burlas. Very nice. This yeah. is the one that I want to buy, right? Yes, you, you should. See. There's another one which is a plate down version. Uh, Just the underwear set. Right? Yeah, this one. Oops, sorry. This is also quite cute. Very nice because yeah. it's like pink. They, they also have it in red color as well. It's pink and it's black, so it's yeah. sweet and yet it's naughty, right? Yes. Very nice. And what would you uh, tell the girl to wear it with? Do you, shoes? Yes. No. Crouch, Makeup. Yes, crotchless no? panties. <laughs> Very nice. And high heels. <laughs> so not many of you will get this backstage look, but you see they actually have like all these uh, accessories, all these beautiful extravagant accessories that will be used later in the fashion show as well. Okay, um, basically these what you see here are hair pieces that we have sort of uh, rented. These are all made like, by Frederick Lee. Ooh. Yeah, handmade by Frederick so Lee. like what? Can you show us a few? This is like a. Sorry, that's like uh -huh. when they put it at the side of your. Oh, okay. I put it on you last time. Okay, I do it. Ah, pretty, pretty. Ah, <laughs> okay. okay. And then, um, this is also like a mask thing that you can. It's almost all like hair pieces, so it gives up, plays up the theatrical bit of it. You see. So it. Um, how does this complement the, the the underwear? Because uh, the this is going with the black series, the nice. boudoir. So it's all like we are trying to make it a bit more. Essential, uh, elegant, you know, because only people with money can afford hate pieces. That right? Is true. It makes sense, right? Yeah. Mm. So, and what um, else? The rest of these are all just accessories that we are going to play up with the dressing, sort of to supplement and complement the lingerie rather than take over the lingerie. Uh, what kind of jewelry would you recommend that a girl wears with her lingerie? Pose. Pose. Okay, these are basically a lot of multi strap. Pose. Yeah. So, a lot of layers and everything. Oh, so you can so play with like uh, different layers here. And, and this can work like where your clothes are on and when they're off. It looks better when they're off la. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's my time to be happy. <laughs> this is the reason why girls buy sexy expensive lingerie. To attract men like that. That's why. Right. Frenchy looking men like that. Yeah. Very nice. Do you feel good in your outfit? Awesome. That's not much of an outfit there though. No, it's at least the pants. Ah, <laughs> nice, nice. Do you usually wear hats? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes? Of Where are you from? I'm from Germany. I'm a mix. Really? What yeah. mix are you? Chinese, Vietnamese, German and a bit Italian. Sorry, what? That's a lot. Chinese, Vietnamese, German and a bit Italian. Yeah. He represents the United Nations. Exactly. That's it, yeah. Yeah. And so what languages do you speak? Just German and English. Can you say something in German? Of course. What do you want to know? Uh, say, you're watching Razor TV. Two shows, Razor TV. Two shows, <laughs> Razor TV. <laughs> it's, a better it's a better look for the guys, I feel. Because they're wearing almost as... Nothing. Almost no, they, as those are nice pants. Nice pants. <laughs> nice pants. <laughs> nice pants. Uh, um, generally, I like... Um, Guys yes. who are like that. I like, <laughs> I like the way the outfit is pulled together by the uh, accessories. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> or like they're off, right? Mm. They're like the, 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 the flesh-colored accessories. I'm sure. Now, where are you from? New York. New York. And what's yes. your name? Oh, I'm mahogany. Mahogany. You have beautiful hair and you have beautiful Thank face you. I grew well. it myself. Very nice. <laughs> now, uh, how long have you been in Singapore? Two years. Two years already? Yeah. And do you like it? Yeah. Yalla. Yalla. 
So I am here with one of the gorgeous models for the Chantel lingerie show. Hi, Jo. Hi. So could you tell me your full name? Uh, my Korean name is Jo Jonghwa, and my English name is Jo Cho. Ah. Now, how old are you this year? Um, I'm 27 this year. Ah, you see? But she's still so direct. So. <laughs> could you tell us, like, how long have you been modeling? Oh, actually, I've been modeling for almost 10 years. And first five years, I was in Korea just for modeling and then after five years I um, start to move on I mean modeling like international international like, and then you've been in Singapore as well right for quite yeah some time. since five years ago yes Wow and okay now you've been uh, modeling lingerie and uh, swimwear and stuff like that does it ever make you nervous yeah actually it's a bit more nervous than normal fashion show because you know lingerie and swimwear I have to uh, keep like fit body you know so what yes. do you do to keep it well <laughs> teach someone like me how to <laughs> okay because people doesn't really trust me but um <laughs> my secret is i don't skip my meal you know i have to take breakfast lunch mm -hmm. and dinner but i don't eat too much and every time i try to go to gym every day so i'm with another hot buddy and her <laughs> name is christina Yes, my name is Christina. And where are you from, Christina? I'm very proudly Hungarian. Hungarian. Now, what's your full name? Oh, that would be Christina, what's written in the Hungarian way with the national Z, mm -hmm. Lot School. That's my family name. Ah. Now, how long have you been in Singapore? I've been living here for like two years. So you've been modeling here or doing other stuff? Yeah, modeling and uh, we have a company as well. So. See. So this beauty has brains and she has the body ah. too. Now, how do you keep your body? Um, well, I do, I do yoga and uh, I do swim. That's basically it. I don't go to the gym. Do you do yoga every day or is that... Well, like I used to do yoga every single day, but now I'm getting a little bit more lazy, a little bit too busy <laughs> for that. So, you know, just time to time. But I do have a pool, so that helps a lot. I'm with yet another hot babe. I tell you, all the guys are going to kill me. And her name is Bruna. Hi, Bruna. Hello. And what's your full name, Bruna? I'm Bruna Miranda. Huh? <laughs> That's actually a Brazilian name, is it? Yeah, I'm from Brazil. Okay, and um, how long have you been in Singapore? I just arrived here like two weeks ago, three weeks, and my first time here. I'm mm -hmm. gonna stay two months more. Ah, yeah. now is this your first lingerie show? No, 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 I have to lingerie a lot. Yeah, I always do. Really? Seven years modeling. Yeah. Like, oh. How many? Uh, now, do you get nervous whenever you do lingerie shows? No, it's okay. It's In the okay. beginning, yeah, I was like shy a little bit, but then I get. It's okay. Yeah. And what kind of do you work out at all? Or? Yeah, I like I like to run, do sports, swim. I go to gym every day. Okay, so you do work out? Yeah, I work out. But about food, like I, I take care. I try to be more health that I can. <laughs> but yeah, I, I get the wrong way sometimes, you know. <laughs> but what would you recommend for girls in terms of VPL? Um, well, I think Is it you a yes or a no? It's or? a definite no. Uh, G string sticking out at the back of your jeans? Definite, de definite no. So what would you recommend a girl wear? Well, I mean, it depends on the outfit that you're wearing. If you're wearing something white and really translucent, mm -hmm. then you should pick the right kind of underwear for it, which is maybe like a white G-string or something. But if you're going to be wearing low-rise jeans, then you're not going to... Um, I mean, if you, you're going to wear something really unsightly with your G-string sticking out, then you mm -hmm. ought to be short. What about guys? Hmm? What about guys? Increasingly, guys are wearing tight pants, right? Yeah, guys are wearing tight pants. So, so let, why don't we ask Sasa that? <laughs> what are you wearing? I like tight pants. He likes tight pants. So, okay, so what do you wear underneath? Under my yeah. tight pants? Mm -hmm. He wears nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <coughs> I'm so sorry. It was a bit of a tease. Yes, yeah. this clip, it was it's a tease. Uh, it's wrong to end with that. Why do you mean it on that note? Yeah. No. Oh. Because girls like Bruna, it. Girl, and not Bruna. No, Bruna is really hot. And she's really cute. And guys, she is single. Hey, choke. She <laughs> twist. Okay, so Bruna, if you mm. see this, Brian really wants to get to know you. So, yeah. I, I'll, if I see you at fashion shows. Anyway, um, you don't have to fork out that much for this underwear. How much would you usually fork out for underwear for girls? $500. What? <laughs> 100 He's Money. saying that for Bruna, you know that, yeah, right? I'll only buy it for Bruna. <laughs> oh, what's that? Money is not an object. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Well, um, Chantel actually costs pretty reasonable from forty-five dollars to five forty-five dollars to three hundred dollars, and it's sold at Tangs and Metro Paragon and at Takashimaya. But guys, stand by. This is what you've been waiting for.